What's up guys? Brad here with Swartz Build and welcome to episode 10 of the Civic Car Build. I know it's been a bit since we last uploaded and I do apologize about that. Uh, I'll be completely honest, just kind of lost a little motivation for the build uh, with all the hiccups that we were running into. So on our last video, I did explain that we were trying to find a fabricator to make the two hoops, uh, one for the firewall and one for the windshield. Well, a new fabricator actually opened in my area, so uh, I did contact them. They did say that they can do it at a fairly cheap price, so uh, they told me it'll be a few weeks, but luckily we are making a little bit of progress, so that's good to go. In the meantime, I'm going to be working on the hoop uh, and some of the piping. Let me show you. All right, so here's a prime example. Uh, this one is not welded very well at all. I mean, there's even some missing right here on the bottom that I did not weld on there. So I want to basically grind this down and re-weld it much, much better. Same thing with up here. I mean, almost every single pipe that's making contact with each other is pretty bad, or it's like this. And I know I can do a lot better. So uh, some of the base plates, they're not looking too bad, um, but they are looking pretty rusty. So. As I said, I'm here in sunny Florida and it is humid as can be, so it's collecting a lot of surface rust. Which brings me to my next announcement. We finally found a color for the Civic. We're going to be going with a metallic blue. Gotcha! I saw this in AutoZone and I was like, holy crap, it was just popped out, just popped out right on the shelf. So uh, it's a metallic blue um, and it's really, really shiny, which is good because I. I want the car shiny that way uh, it's more visible that way we're less prone to getting hit if people don't see us um, I did test it on a side panel over here I did apply clear coat over it so it doesn't look too bad um, the camera doesn't really do credit because it's pretty shiny it just doesn't look like it on the camera so that's what we're going to be going with so this video in particular we're going to be focusing on cleaning up the burrs all this stuff all this crap that's all over it. it's not really like straight it's really jagged and all that so we could definitely be cleaning that up you can see there's a bunch of crap all over it everywhere so as I said it is a, a cart build or as some people call it death cart which I refuse to call it that uh, the thing scares me as it is so I am not calling it a death cart uh, so we're gonna be focusing on cleaning up a lot of the body a lot of this excess or excessive uh, side panels and stuff cleaning that up and then cleaning up the welds and then we can start painting it and hopefully by then uh, we'll get the phone call saying that the hoop is done and I did test fit some of the base plates so um, the hoops obviously gonna start uh, over here um, on the passenger and driver side uh, in the corners that's where they're gonna be welded it's gonna go up go along the firewall and then right back down and once that is in we'll be able to weld the one that goes from uh, that goes along the windshield over here just in case if we ever flip I mean god forbid hopefully it never happens we don't want to land on our head but we need some sort of protection for the front end and then once the hoop is in for the windshield we'll be able to attach um, attach it from the windshield hoop to the main hoop right here so we'll have two bars that go over it um, and I also did want to test fit some of the doors so I originally wanted to go from the side hoop to the front hoop uh, for the firewall but I think I'm gonna test test fit uh, going from just having two pipes go uh, kind of come out like in the 3d model and then go up to the uh, side of the fender over here the support piece right here so we'll test that and see what it looks like I have the pipe and everything so why not we'll, we'll see what we can make shift so Let's do it.
Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate in the comment section, but honestly, I am a terrible welder. Terrible welder. Uh, welding takes a lot of uh, skill, and welding pipe takes even more skill. So, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna accept the fact that these are crappy welds. I know they are. I am a complete amateur at this. So it's not gonna be pretty. The good thing about it is that I tested it, I, I hung from it and everything, and it's holding pretty well. Uh, in the future, we might take it to a fab shop and have the welds redone, um, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna get this thing, I want the, I want to get it on the road. So, on, the, on to the next. All right, so we did a little bit of welding, uh, just enough to where I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. Again, they are not perfect, but they are very sturdy. So next I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the hoop and all of the pipe right here because I do not want them to surface rust again, uh, causing more sanding. So let's do it. So I gotta say, for a spray can, coming out of a spray can, it looks really, really good. The camera doesn't do too much justice for it. Uh, I absolutely love this metallic color. I mean, it just, it just pops. So I'm really excited to just uh, kind of just do the whole thing. I mean, again, I keep, I'm in the habit of getting this mentality where this is like a luxury car and everything needs to be perfect. And quite honestly, I just, I couldn't care, you know, less about how it looks. I really just want to drive it. So. I think I'm just gonna go uh, balls to the wall and just paint the whole back end, see how it goes. So let's do it. All right guys, so here's the finished product for the the back. I uh, got that first coat on there and it's already looking really good. It almost looks like it's powder coated. Uh, it's kind of weird because right here in the light, it looks pretty blue, like a light blue. And then in the dark, it looks like a darker blue. I'm assuming that's just the metallics or maybe the angle that we're looking at it. But other than that, I'm really, really happy with what it, um, what it looks like. So I, I picked up a, a, a can of black because I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the floorboards black I'm not 100% because I feel like if I do it blue, it's gonna get dirty pretty quick uh, and look like crap. I mean, regardless of the fact, I mean, look at the car, it's gonna look like crap regardless, but uh, I more so got it because I wanna do the wheel wells and everything black. Uh, but this right here, all this is gonna be that blue. This over here, I'm assuming it'll probably just be blue. Uh, I think that would look really good as well instead of doing this black. So 
let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna kind of do another coat on this and then I'll decide what to do with that. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then spray it with the blue and same thing up here. I'm gonna tape this off and do the blue tomorrow. So thanks for being patient with me guys and welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, I apologize for the delay, but more content is coming soon. So see you in the next one.